Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is a candle. And today we're going to try a hand at candle making. So, let's get on with it. So yes, candles. A uh, bit of a change, I know. <laughs> a little bit something different. But there is, there is method in my madness, so follow me. Uh, now, this is a candle that came from uh, uh, Aldi. Uh, we've got a load of these um, that uh, we've, we've collected over the past however long. And one of the problems we've had with them, if I, see if I can get the, oh, oh my, hang on, hang on a minute, talk about yourselves for a minute. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, the problem we've got is this, uh, the middle's burnt out. And uh, there's still loads of wax left in the jar. And um, I say we've got a load of these things. Uh, we've got, hang on, I'll, I'll show you quickly. We've got, um, uh, what's this one? That's sweet cherry. Stop laughing at the back. Uh, we've got spiced fruits. And uh, we've also got this starlight, whatever that's supposed to be. Um, smells a bit rough to me, but never mind. Um, so anyway, we've got a good selection of these things, and, and you can see it's the same with all of them. There's a load of wax left in them, but there's no wick. So we're trying to think what to do with them, because it seems a bit shame to throw them away. So I thought I'd have a go at candle making. So what I did was I went on to Amazon, I think it was, and I bought this. Uh, this is a wick kit. Uh, so it's uh, 10 centimeter candle wicks, and a little, a little tool for putting them in place. So basically what you've got with these wicks is they have a little metal plate on the bottom and then they have a little sticky double-sided sticky pad and you you can see it in here so you stick them in the bottom and then you use the the tool that sits on the top and holds the wick in place and then you pour in the molten wax so i thought how hard can it be so yeah so the first thing we've got to do let's put these to one side for a minute is get this wax out of here now i thought what i was going because the i talking to the missus about it and she said well just melt it all into one big blob and pour it in i was like well that's all right but i think what i might do is see if i can actually make like a layered candle so what i've got here is a bowl this is stainless steel and uh, you can see it's a bit grotty i actually used this before as i said i've never done candle making before but i have used wax before for wax casting and stuff like that so I have a can, I have a, a, a something to put the wax in, and I've got a, a blowtorch, because obviously, and I've got um, jars and a pair of gloves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, see if I can get this wax out of this jar without setting fire to the workshop, uh, and see what happens. So let's give it a go. What could possibly go wrong, he says. I'm just wondering if this blowtorch might be a bit fierce. I might actually use a, a hot air gun, actually. But we'll see. Oh. Right. Okay, let's see how this works. I think this canister might be running out. I've got more. Oh, you see, that's what I was worried about. I think this is too hot, because I think what's happened here, yeah, you see there, the jar's cracked. All right, uh, I might have to go to plan B on this. Um, let's try something else. Bear with me for a second. Right, plan B, a smaller blowtorch. <laughs> the trouble is with this one is it's, it's supposed to self-ignite when you do that, but I've, I'm honestly, this thing is years old and it doesn't self-ignite. But that doesn't matter because 
I have an even smaller blowtorch than I used to light the slightly bigger blowtorch. Right, let's try this again. Right, that's a bit more like it. So I'll carry on melting this out of here and then we'll come back and have a look when it's done. Right, so uh, I took another vanilla blush jar, I've got two of these, and uh, cleaned that out without managing to crack it this time. There's still a bit left in the bottom, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is try putting one of these wicks in it. Let's see how this works. So there's probably people out there that make candles that are probably cringing at this and it's just like, <laughs> I don't care. Uh, right, so. That goes something like that. So that's straight-ish. So we'll pop that in in a minute. Let's get one of these sticky pads in here. Should be good for a laugh. Probably won't even stick to the bottom because it's uh... the trouble is with this is it's I can't quite reach in there. So I can do it with this. No, it's not like it. I don't know if this is going to stick or not because it's got wax all over the bottom of it, but we'll see. That looks about in the middle. Oh, yeah, that sticks all right. Okay, let's get the... Uh... Oh, come on. Come on, there we go. All right, and then we'll pop this in. Oh. Like that just press that down and that's uh, well it's nearly in the middle <laughs> it's fine it'll be fine right what did i do with the there it is so i'm assuming that goes oh it fits like that okay fair enough and that holds it in the middle like that you see so you push that into that slot i think like that, and that holds it in the middle. Cool. So what we're gonna do now is melt all this wax and pour it back in here, he says with supreme confidence. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering actually whether to do this, you know, maybe a jaunty angle. What do you reckon? Or should we just put one in and just do one normal and just see if it works first? See, the other thing I was thinking of because of the way this burns out, I'm just wondering. I might do it on one of the other ones uh, if I if I do more than one. It's actually put because that's what this has got these two holes in it, so you can put two wicks in, so it burns. So like a big fat candle, this will burn more evenly. But um, let's. I think we'll do it. We'll try doing this at an angle. So if I I'll just pop that on there like that, and uh, we'll melt this down, and and pour it back in. So I think I'm going to change the canister on the uh, on the blowtorch first, though, because that seems like it's running a bit low. So we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. Right. Here we go. wax melted and then we'll uh, try pouring it in right now for the fun bit let's try and pour this in here what could possibly go wrong Right. 
that'll do. I haven't pulled it all out because you can see that, well, hopefully you can see there's a lot of left in there. So I'll clean that out. And we'll leave this to, uh, well, set I suppose. There's actually a lot more in there than I thought. I might actually just let this down, let sit down flat because, oh, who cares, we'll, we'll try it and see what happens. Oh, it's quite smoky now, I might have to put the extractor in. Right, so about an hour has passed, and uh, as you can see, that's set up quite nicely. It's still warm, the jar's still warm, but the wax is set. So I'm going to set that down level, and uh, I took the opportunity to take the other stuff. This is uh, the, the um, Starlight. So I'm going to melt this one and pour that in on top. So... Let's see how this works. I'm not going to heat it up so much this time. I think that was the problem last time. I think I overheated it. So I've never done this before, so I'm not sure how hot this actually needs to be. in on here and I think that'll do us for that one so we'll leave this to set up and in the meantime I'll do some of the other ones and uh, then we'll come back at the end and see what it all looks like And here are our finished articles. So I managed to get two complete candles out of the bits I had left. So this one is a mixture of the vanilla blush at the bottom there. Then there's some of the um, star, whatever it is. What's it called? Starlight something or other. <laughs> oh, star, yeah, it's called Starlight. Uh, and then it's got some of the spice fruit on top because I had a bit left over. Uh, and then this one is the sweet cherry on the bottom. And again, the spice fruits on the top. Uh, I also put two wicks in this one because I just want to see whether it worked any better. Um, so there you go. So I shall go and give them back to the missus. Uh, probably make her happy. And I'll put a link to the uh, the kit here in uh, in the description in case you fancy having a go at this yourself. But in the meantime, you know, I know this is a bit of a diversion from the normal, but you know, I video what I'm working on. So there you go. Uh, I'd like to thank my top tier patrons, uh, Howard and Amy, for their continued support. Uh, if you fancy joining them on uh, Patreon, I'd much appreciate it. And of course, you're always welcome to come and join us in the staff canteen on Facebook. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.